cancer develops gradually over years through a series of steps that we really don't understand very well. What we do know, however, is that many early cancers fail to progress into more advanced disease because natural control mechanisms exist that prevent them from progressing. My laboratory seeks to understand what these natural control mechanisms are that prevent the emergence or the progression of cancer and to use this information to detect cancers early, to understand which cancers are at most highest risk of progression and in the future to develop new methods to treat or even prevent cancer. We started this work several years ago when the so-called breast cancer genes BRCA1 and BRCA2 were first identified. People who inherit faults in BRCA2 have a very high risk of developing cancers of the breast, the ovary, the pancreas, and the prostate, and typically cancer develops in these people at a relatively early age. We reason from this information that BRCA2's normal role must be to prevent the changes that lead cells to becoming cancerous. And this spurred us to discover what the role of BRCA2 is. We discovered some years ago that BRCA2 works to preserve the integrity of the human genome, which is encoded in the DNA that is present in each and every one of our cells. My lab's research on BRCA2 since then has shown how the protein works in the cellular reactions that repair damaged DNA and how it works to control the separation of DNA between daughter cells when cells divide. We've also been able to find out why people who inherit a single faulty copy of BRCA2 are more susceptible to cancer. This knowledge has spurred us to develop new approaches for the treatment and hopefully in the future the prevention of cancer. We have combined methods in structural and chemical biology with advances in microscopy to identify molecular targets for next generation medicines against cancer. Accordingly, my lab hosts biologists, physicists and chemists as well as clinicians actively involved in the treatment of cancer patients. It's a real privilege for me to work with this dedicated team of specialists and we hope that our work will lead not only to a better understanding of how cancer develops but also will lead in the future to better outcomes for patients who are being treated for this disease.